All right, this is an important moment. So as you can see here, I absolutely walloped this fucking trade in the mouth. My God, what a, I mean, I shorted the thing like right there. It's 80% gainer so far. This thing's egregious. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great trade, but here's the key, okay? Yeah, you can sit here, you can fucking, you know, I'm on a one minute chart. You can sit here and celebrate, smack your ass all day. But what you gotta look for Arthur here, okay? And I'm gonna do this shit in real time because I know he's gotta come out any second. This shit is just, I mean, I can't hit a trade this good. Something's gonna, you know. So you see here, you see that's a that's a red wick right there. You know what I mean? I, right now that's showing me, okay. I mean, someone's selling the fucking thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at this. So when you see Arthur, what you wanna see is that big old wick down here on the bottom and then like a couple gaps up. Because essentially, we're going to have to hit this. I mean, the long opportunity that's brewing here is unbelievable. I'm not a Gavone, so I'm just going to cash out of this short whenever I see Arthur here. Because, I mean, like I said, I'm up like 80-something percent. I full ported this bitch. I only keep two grand in my Robin Hood. You all know this. And so, again, I ran it up. Like, I'm up, my account's up like 500 right now. So, it's, it's like a 30% fucking day. Um, yeah, so now we just got to wait. Like, Arthur still wants this thing to go down. I don't know. I mean, this is ruthless. This is that Putin dump here. I mean, this motherfucker's ruthless. Another low. I don't even want to know how much I'm up. I'm not even going to look. I'm done. Because I've already cashed out a couple of them. I bought three of these contracts. They were fat boys for deep out. Uh, I think like... Actually, no, they weren't deep out. That's why I'm up so much. They're only like three weeks out, these contracts. Because I'm only playing with two grand. And if I go up, I, I pull out. And I keep two grand in the account. So here we go. There you go. Here's a little boner. Now, Arthur, it's not hard to tell when it's him. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta see, the key to Arthur is the little gap. Like, the next candle open up here, that means he's in. That means Arthur's out. Because, like, with all that cell pressure, how are you just gonna gap up? And, and this is how it always reverses. This is how I almost, I'm, okay, so that's not it. That wasn't him. We want to see that, like, next candle open with the little gap. That's when Arthur's like, all right, change my mind. But like, okay, so that's a big green candle, which means Arthur's starting to put out some feelers out there, see if we can like trick the retail. So if retail comes in and eats this up, and we get a big old wick, there we go. Then Arthur's like, all right, these idiots really think that we're not in a bear market, let's send it up then. No problem, because then we'll just, we'll long it, get some their momentum on the side, and then we'll dump on their dumb asses when they get caught holding the bag short the shit out of it, and E.T. will benefit. And that's how it's just been going. It's going to be great, man. I say four more years of Joe Biden so I can keep shorting. Go, Brandon. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm voting for this Joe Biden guy because he's, I mean, look at the money he's making me. Sending the market into the shithole like this. Oh, oh, this fucking thing's fighting for another low. Yeah, I don't know, man. I could be sitting here all day before anyone decides to buy this bitch. But this is like kind of the process. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's just that's just low, right? That is cold, bro. All right, here we go. Come on, man. You can't you can't just leave all these reds. This thing is going to have to get wiped out. And like that number. Oh, my God. 151. I mean, we're down here at 144. Oh, my God. It's the Putin. It's Putin selling, selling U.S. securities. This shit's ruthless. I mean, usually you'll get a little bounce, but we did have a bounce earlier in the week, which could mean more weakness right now. Um, God, I really want to get this on camera, but I'm not about to make this video like really much longer. But that's kind of just the process. Like, I could show you how I shorted the shit out of this thing real quick before I go. <laughs> All right, dude, this was a great short all day long. One hour chart. This is beautiful. I mean, this is just textbook shit right here. So what we had going on was like a ton of reds. That's what I call them. I don't get, you know, that's the red. You see those? There's more now. But no, there was a shit ton of reds. Like I was shorting this thing like last week. I mean, I was just fucking, oh, time of my life was shorting these. Like both of these, I'm pretty sure I caught. This was a bearish divergence of a century rising. I mean, this shit is just hilarious. I don't even know what that is. That's like a damn, that's the phantom bear flag I eat on that. I mean, again, you can look this thing up and down. So this was kind of like my lower limit where I was getting out of shorts last week. And I had some like levels set like right up in here this week where I thought maybe we'd come grab these blues. But no, it like Arthur 
uh, up in here, I'm like, dude, someone wants this bitch to go up. So there was a bunch of reds right in here and it cleared them out. And there was a huge gap up into this next red up here. So I just said, all right, if it wants these, it'll get them. But I mean, I'm gonna short up here at this yellow right here. It took out that last red that was caused. There was an imbalance caused by this wick right here. And uh, no, it hit that imbalance and I shorted the goddamn out of this thing. And the results, I mean, the, the downside is, is still offensive. I mean, we got a long ways to go if I'm right here, but when I hit this hard on a trade like this, you know, honestly, man, I'm gonna take my five on it. And uh, we're gonna just move on with life because I'll always be able to find another short. You gotta have faith in yourself, motherfucker. Have faith in yourself. So, you know, these opportunities will come again. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it. My computer is a goddamn toaster. Here we go. There's Arthur, here he is. All right, so I'm back to the one minute chart. Here he is, here he is, it's perfect. See, see how that candle right there opened up, like up above that other candle? That's gonna be your first sign of Arth, right there. See that? How the fuck, like, now the next one, if I'm correct here, and this is the run, we should gap up here, okay? And yeah, and we should get some nice candles. We got four seconds, three seconds. Gap up now. Where's the candle? Come on, you motherfucker. Yeah, Arthur playing. The candle ain't disappeared. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, shit. Okay, so no. Now I'm not going yet. I want to see that gap. I want to see that gap. And I refuse to do anything about it until I see it. So that's not it. That's not what I'm looking for. I want like three of these bitches in a row. And that ain't it. Because the third one, if this was going to reverse, this wick would not exist. This wick would be smaller. And this third candle would have opened up and ate these reds right here. So watch, now that we eat this imbalance, I think now we start to see it. We're seeing a change of structure. Um, the first higher high, maybe forming a lower low here. So Arthur could be coming out any second. And again, I'm not a degenerate trading on one minute frames. I'm setting these trades up on big front time frames. Here we go, nice wick, beautiful. He should send this candle up, like up, beautiful. Yes, there should be a gap up here. And that's like the telltale sign, beautiful, beautiful. So here we go. Now we want to see the gap. We got a couple more seconds on this candle here, but that wick is like, okay, yeah, obviously we got some buyers. Oh, that's a nice hammer candle forming right there. So again, you know, you got to take it for what it is. That's why I like the gaps. All the candles can look however they want, but the, yeah, there it is. Gaps. All right. So you saw that? I'm out. I'm going to go sell my short and uh, enjoy my fucking weekend.